Okay, this may be one of the shorter videos I'll ever make. So you'll notice in my last video, we had a simple text field and a button. And when you hit submit, it shows you whatever you put in the text field and this label. Now, um, it's probably a good idea to make it so that your keyboard, your virtual keyboard disappears after you hit submit. You don't want it to take up real estate and stay there the whole time. So I'll show you how you can quickly and easily do that. In your IB action, you're going to, whatever the name of your text field, right, ours is textf, you're going to create a little method here. So you start with the square brackets and then we go text F design first responder. Okay. And what that does is it closes out the um, virtual keyboard. So let's go take a look at that in action here. See, keyboard's down. All right, so the one thing I will say is if you have multiple text fields associated with your project, you want to put that resign first with this method here. And you probably want to have this for each of them because it's wherever the cursor is when you hit submit. Um, it might make sense to have it in the last text field right before the submit button, but you never know how your user's going to go about filling out your form. He may go back and change something and the cursor might not be in the last field. All right. I hope that's helpful. Take care.